hello guys welcome to this channel and uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, why Moses Masika Wetangula must be impeached from the speaker's seat by all means if you are a president and the speaker cooperated with you to impeach someone you'll be very afraid of this person so William Ruto cannot trust Moses Wetangula, that is point number one. He cannot trust Moses Wetangula anymore. So <coughs> they will use their power as UDA and ODM alliance to remove this speaker who is who hails from Ford Ken. Point number two is um, Wetangula refused to dissolve his party. Remember, Ruto wanted all parties to be dissolved because he wants to lead a very big political party. So, up to today, Wetangula has not dissolved his party. And the, you know how William Ruto works. He cannot, if he decides that you must go, you must go. Point number three is that um, there were rumors that Wetangula and the Chago were planning to vie. Do you know if they had to vie, all the Mount Kenya would rally behind them and some of the Bungoma region people. So it is a factor as well. The rumors were a factor. Point number four Raila is demanding a lot from Ruta. Because Ruto's re-election lies in the hands of Raila right now as we are speaking. So ODM needs more slots and Raila is demanding for the speaker's seat. Therefore, the MPs, will to the UDA ODM government will remove Speaker Wetangula and replace him with an ODM person let's say someone like Otiende Omola or and I hear like Junet Mohammed is headed to the cabinet yeah he will be handed over a ministry of Kiture Kindiki that's what I uh, those are the rumors we are we are hearing so what you can say is that um, Ruto is not a joke and he is a master planner of politics he is a student of Moi Uru, Raila, so you can understand who Ruto is. He has mastered the tactics of being a ruthless man. You understand? So uh, Moses Masika Tangula has no otherwise other than to be removed from the speaker's seat. Ford Kenya is a very small party and it cannot fight back the power that ODM has. In Parliament right now even Amazon King should be very worried because the unity of it's a tribal factor here now the unity of the Kalenjin and Luos is very ruthless to anyone you should understand that so the speakers of the houses they should be very wary they should be worried about what is gonna happen to them and I believe their work is done the same way the Chagua's job is done it's the same same way Kingi and Wetangula's job Ruto is done with them he doesn't need them anymore Ruto is securing his 2027 ambition and by all means Ruto will make sure that Raila becomes the next AU chairman so that all the votes that he was enjoying before will be in his basket i don't know what to think guys but that is my take if you are watching for the first time in this channel kindly subscribe and comment like share so see you guys in the next video